Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and today we will be looking over Microsoft 365 so you might be following Microsoft on YouTube and might be watching up to, keeping up to date with their announcements but they've released this win sorry Windows 365 and it says hybrid windows for a hybrid world windows 365 streams your personal personalized apps settings content streams streams from microsoft cloud to any device giving you and your organization the ability to more agile agile and productive welcome to my welcome to windows mic windows 365 cloud pc so i'm going to watch this going to see how it is to this place so you go to windows365.microsoft.com and you log on um, I'll just log on with this one it says oh because this is an organization account the organization doesn't have a subscription to windows365 so this is on Microsoft's website so th that's where this link takes you to to here so welcome to Windows 365 Cloud PC. Securely stream your Windows experience including apps, content and settings from the Microsoft, from Microsoft to any Cloud PC available August 2nd. So we'll see if there's any updates on this. So you have to register for this. Um, I'll register for this later. So we've just seen the um, announcement and there's another video. This is a cloud PC. And so is this. And this. And this. Now any device can be a cloud PC with Windows 365. Hybrid work is here. With Windows in the cloud, embrace flexibility in how, when, and where you work. Streaming your personalized Windows experience from the Microsoft Cloud. Your cloud PC is always current, so pick up where you left off. All your apps, content, and settings ready wherever your work takes you. Integrated management and security with everything in the cloud. Scale on demand to meet your needs with company-owned or personal devices. All one seamless experience that's just a few clicks to deploy. The world of work has changed, so we're changing how you get Windows. Stream from the cloud to any device to unlock your business's full potential. Hybrid Windows for a hybrid world. Welcome to Windows 365. So I'm not sure this whether this cloud Windows 365 means that um, anyone can have it or just um, business users. I mean, that wouldn't affect me either way and simple powerful and secure easily set up and scale windows 365 to your needs and securely support your hybrid workflow to stream to any device um a computer even a phone or a laptop um so this is from 
Martin Joy, the government of Nunavut. Don't know, but if you're from there, hello. He said, from our standpoint, the simplicity of Windows 365 is amazing. There's a lot of good things to learn about and it's, ma and it's management and security. It's a lot easier for us as a team to manage devices because we know where, they're, where they are and where they're connecting from. So, and then there's all of this and you can sign up to receive updates. And I've got a couple of news articles up. So, let's go for this one. Windows 365, so it's explained here. Um, last week, Microsoft released Windows 365. Um, I think because of Azure, I think that's how you say it. And... And load that. Oh, it releases the, on the second for business users. So it's going to cost. They have no idea how much it's going to cost. And then you sort everything out through there. Um, so it'll run on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So it's Azure Virtual Desktop, which is a business thing, I think, because um, I'm not sure, but I think it is. Might be, I don't know. We'll have to see when it comes out. So this is from Computer World. I'll link this down below. And this is from trustedreviews.com. Here's what you need to know about it. So Microsoft confirmed that its new service will run on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So it's, it's stored in the cloud. It might be stored in OneDrive. But it could be stored somewhere else. Um, Okay, so there's everything there. You could always search up Windows 365 and find there's loads of articles. There are loads of news articles. Let's put the pricing details. Okay. Blah blah blah. So their price thing. CRM software. So uh, okay. So there are loads of um. Okay. Um. There are loads of like. So. So the there you can get two cores, four gigabytes of RAM, and sixty-four gigs of storage. Or eight cores of CPU, thirty-two gigabytes of RAM, the five hundred and twelve gigabyte um storage space. Okay, so ooh. um. One pricing hint came from The Verge to Warren who spotted a $31 per month for the 2 core 4 gig of memory and 128 gig of storage option be $372 annually. Wow. So uh, yeah, it is, is your virtual desktop. So yeah, and I've seen a video um, where it says as long as you can run like a streaming sub service, then you can run 
Who can run a streaming service? Who can run this Windows stuff? Window, Windows 365. So, I mean, um, I'll I'll be sure to try and get my hands on Windows 365 as soon as I can, so I can show you all and see if it's like a worthy process to go through or not. But I don't think it will be just because um, they haven't put much out yet yeah, to say, oh yeah, 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 this will be a good thing, this will be a good thing. And what Apple are going to do about it, because I mean, this is a big thing. They're now going for their FaceTime for Apple app. Um, Windows and um, Windows and Android. So who knows what's gonna happen next? Just gonna have a look and see when Windows 11 releases. Sometime. Oh, October. Oof. Okay. So. If quite a long time ago quite a long time till that so get ready so it's written so you know windows 11 is written in c c plus plus c sharp and the assembly language so i hope everything will will go as planned that i can get my set hands on windows 11 well Windows 365 hopefully before it releases that would be nice but obviously I'm not going to but if I could that would be nice and I would try and get it but it's not likely I will so goodbye I will see you for the next video